this is how you make a cutoff head animation in Premiere Pro. You can, you can say whatever you want about me. You can call me arrogant. You can call me anything you want, but you cannot call me a quitter. I didn't quit. All right, so here's the deal. First things first, we gotta set up a gradient grid background. If you wanna dive deeper into this topic, I actually have a separate video you can check out. To add those cool grid lines, head over to the effects panel and search for grid, apply it, and from the effect controls panel tweak the width and number of grid lines. Next, change the blending mode to screen and lower the opacity. Now let's import this image onto the timeline. Select the image and set keyframes for position and scale by clicking on the stopwatch icon. Move a few frames forward, set higher scale value, and adjust the position. To make the animation nice and smooth, grab those handles and set starting keyframes to ease out. When the animation reaches its end, cut the image layer and create an ellipse mask under opacity. Mess around with the size and position of the ellipse mask to cut off the head. Now set your mask feather to zero. Enable the inverted option to see everything except for the chopped head. Duplicate the layer from the effect controls panel and check the inverted option to show only the chopped head. Let's add some animation to that chopped head by setting keyframes for position and rotation. Skip ahead a few seconds on the timeline and rotate it. I think with this rotation, this position looks perfect. Move those two layers up one track and use the ellipse tool to create an ellipse shape. Adjust the gap to hide any extra ellipse shapes outside of the head. If needed, use the pen tool to make some shape adjustments and sample the full color using the eyedropper tool from the same image. Now let's check out our animation. I think it's better if you close gap along with some adjustment on rotation and position value. To make the transition smooth, let's give the end keyframes an ease in time interpolation and the first keyframes an ease out. You can also drag those handles around for extra control. Bring the chopped head and body three tracks above and add three different PNG images just below it, making sure to leave some gaps between them. Now let's animate the car by adjusting the final position and setting keyframes on position, scale and rotate. Go back a few frames on the timeline and change its position, scale and rotate. Once again, go back to the starting position and move it down behind the head. To keep the animation smooth, we're using the same techniques again. Extend the duration of all the layers and create some extra space for a smoother transition. Now, you can repeat the same animation on the other two images. I think it's a good idea to adjust the position of all three images. And if you really want to take it up a notch, adding some sound effects will give you the final result you're looking for. You can, you can say whatever you want about me. You can call me arrogant. You can call me anything you want, but you cannot call me a quitter. I didn't quit.